Hi and welcome back and thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and begin with a completely sun protected look using Dr. Paracone's makeup no makeup line. I love this. Dr. Paracone has definitely created this for the practical people in life. No doubt he's made it for everybody. If you don't have it, I recommend it. I have used other brands and they don't blend quite as nicely. They're not as light. And with this line, you also get the option of using the blush, the highlighter, the lipstick, this no bronzer bronzer with SPF 30. Yes, again. And now moving on, no foundation foundation serum with you guessed it SPF 30 now with the foundation no foundation serum I'm going to use that under my eyes my forehead chin and notice I'm not putting any product on my nose and that's because I'm going to use the excess product on a brush right into my eyelids and the bridge of my nose using the no blush blush you guessed it, again with SPF 30. Isn't that great? You're just fully protected. So this is highly pigmented. I used two swipes, but that is because I diluted mine. So a little secret here is when you do buy your product, whether you think it's too expensive and you wanna save your product and make it last as long as possible, or you don't like running down to the store, I add my Kiehl's Super Fluid into it. I put about four to five drops, I shake it up, and it just gives me a little bit more. And it makes the consistency a little bit easier to blend too. And most of us are all similar, so I'm sure we all run around, we're all outdoors, and therefore using this and just making it as easy as possible can become the best. Here's my La Prairie SPF 15, half the sun protection, and uh, foundation and concealer. I am only gonna be using the concealer, and here's my wonderful Airbrush Tarte Duo brush. I'm using the small tip side. Now I'm going to blend the concealer all around my eye including my eyelids and that's because who doesn't want to go ahead and you know keep the elasticity as long as possible and they say that the sun will damage that so moving forward go ahead and use the same concealer all around my lips line the lip line there and blend it in so using the larger side of my airbrusher blend it all around the lips and that is because I love my snacks drinks and I've learned that this step is not necessary if you don't feel your lipstick fades away quite rapidly. You can try it and see if it works for you. Here is my Rimmel Waterproof Witness White Chubby Stick. I love it for the inner corner of my eyes, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow on top of my lipstick, and so I really do like it. Anyways, here is my very old Smashbox all-purpose eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to use this with my Naked Basics. Boxing! I'm going to grab the color pigmentation from the inner corner of my eyes from the Witness White and blend it out into the entire parameter of my eyelid. Then I'm going to go in with all three colors, or you could just use Boxy and or Loss. Now I'm grabbing Venus. I don't know if you caught that. I'm using the Venus on the highlighted portions that I did earlier, except I forgot my Cupid's bow, so I'm doing that now. And yeah, just finish off there. This is my Laura Mercier Duo brush. I'm gonna use the ponytail side. You can use any ponytail type brush that you have. I'm gonna grab Naked too, and take that to the outer corners of my eyes to make my eyes appear bigger for my photos while I'm at Disneyland. Anyhow, this is a Michaels Craft painting brush, so I like it. It works well for me. Using Venus, I'm gonna go into, or any shimmer shadow, and I like to place that right under the rim of the eyebrow and that will obviously enhance them to seem a little higher. Next, using my Anastasia or Anastasia little pod of eyebrow powder in brunette dark brown, I'm just gonna use a regular Michaels Arts and Craft brush that is very defined, so if you are in a rush, this is not recommended because it is so precise. I'm having to go over a couple times, whereas I just like to kind of brush through and be done. I keep meaning to change it out, but it is on top of my vanity and I haven't made the time to go get the brush that I really want. At, at this moment, I'm taking the opportunity to line the bottom of my eyes and open them up, make them appear that they're there with the duo powder. It doesn't matter whether you use the light or the dark brown. Just dip your brush in there and get in there. Give it a little bit of the bright eye and bushy tail type of look. Now you see my Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil in Warm Brunette. This is an arch type of pencil. I don't know if you can see how it's arched, but look at how easy that goes on. I love it. Anyhow, you can use both. I normally use one, but like I said, I didn't like the pencil that I was using for my powder. It was uh, very defined, so I just kind of am using this to go fill it in. And since it's out, I'm going to line the top of my eyes. Why not? 
Using any of your firmer eyebrow or eyeshadow pencils, you can go ahead and just blend out what you just did. I like to blend it just because it does look a little bit more natural. I'm showing you what the natural look looks like. So you can pretty much end your routine here or add on. I'm going to continue just to finish the look. I'm going to continue with this all over eye color brush from Laura Mercier. Using this, I'm going to grab the Laura Mercier Dune Bronze Bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose. I got into this habit after getting my license over like six years ago for, you know, beauty school. And it's one of those things that I just enjoy doing. It's not necessary. So you may or may want to go ahead and add your contour here now. And if not, we're done moving on. I'm going to grab the same Dune Bronze and tap it around my lips where I added the concealer to kind of set it in and that way when I do do my lipstick it sits in really good. Speaking of setting things in, I'm going to get my setting powder. It's a translucent powder from Laura Mercier, I'm trying to focus there. And using my Sephora all over powder brush, I'm just going to tap the lid and dip my brush lightly into the top and then I'm going to use the excess and dab it off on the lid. So it just kind of, you know, helps me blend it in nicely into the lighter area of my face and then all around. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Too Faced blush palette called Love Blush. I used this in my earlier video from the holiday time. I'm grabbing How Deep Is Your Love and I Will Always Love You. Mixing the two colors together with my Laura Mercier Duo Brush using the blush side. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that back into my cheeks. I'm gonna follow the next step up with my Too Faced highlighter. This highlighter is a trio of three different shades of pink. I just go ahead and use all of them all together and put them right into those highlighting areas that I had used earlier from the Paracone No Highlighter Highlighter. I'm using chapstick. It works for me, but if you have a certain moisturizer for your lips, now's a good time to apply it so that by the time you get to your lip color, your lips are nice and juicy. Next, I'm going to go ahead and twist up my eyeliner from NARS. This is all black. The color is called Larger Than Life and it's long wear eyeliner. It's one of my favorites because as you can see, I am putting it into the waterline of my upper lid. And usually if I yawn for whatever reason, my, my eyes will become super watery. And then of course, everything starts running down my face, but this prevents that from happening. This pencil here, Leonani is a waterproof liquid eyeliner. It's made in Japan and it works for me. You can grab whichever eyeliner you have if you're using one at all. I'm usually pro about this wing eyeliner, but bear with me. I have a feeling it's not gonna come out as well as I normally do it. And that's because I'm looking into this camcorder that's pretty amazing, I'm excited. I noticed that in my previous videos, whatever I was using was not clear and it was kind of blurry. So here with this new camcorder, you can see pretty much absolutely everything. No, you can. You can see more than the naked eye. That's how good this camcorder is, which is more than I signed up for. And as I ramble, I just messed up my eye liner here, but that's okay because the naked eye is not going to see that. I think only you and me are going to know this happened. Moving forward, I'm going to just dab my eyes because normally when I just put on my eyeliner, my eyes get a little teary eyed, which is what I just mentioned. That's why I like to use the waterproof liners. Moving on to my mascara routine. I'm going to start off with my your show lash plumping serum these maximizers are also known as primers if you can um, pick up one at your drugstore and start using it they're great but i will say i've tried most of them and i do want to invest my money on this one because it is amazing if you haven't used it already now i just got this kate white lash maximizer it's eyelash plus in the title i think refers to the fact that it has microfibers in it it's a two-in-one combo, which is really amazing, whether it turns out to be good or not. This is my regular Dior Show New Look Mascara. It's in the color 090, and I like it because of the way you can get into the corners of the eyelashes. The little brush gets into the corner edges of the inner corner and the outer corner of my eyes. Being super careful, you don't poke your eyes. And then I just go in with the Dior Show Ecstasy in the same color, 090. You want to go ahead and put it right into the center and concentrate going from your waterline up all the way through, maybe even go through the backside of your eyelashes if you have really curly eyelashes. Mine are pretty straight, so I'll just go straight up. And also make sure that you double check that you don't have any white hairs left because of the primer. The primer shows white. So once you're done, make sure you double check that you've covered all those white spots because if you don't, it does look funny and people can notice that. 
Okay, so now grabbing whichever mascara you have. If you do have a little brush, grab that one. And if you don't, just grab your mascara using the tip. Go into the outer corners of your eye for your lower mascara, starting from the waterline. And just kind of jiggle it so that way you, you know, brush the eyelashes out. By adding the mascara to the bottom of the lashes, it will give you a little more dramatic effect and then you can open up your eyes a little bit more so now that I grab that clump off the top of my mascara I'm moving forward to this brow maker it is a brow brusher plus eye brow pencil so to speak it's a little moist and I'm just gonna use the brow part obviously and just let that sit and then later I'll brush my brows here is my Rimmel lip lining pencil it's a long-lasting pencil liner and it is my perfect shade it's natural matches the color of my lips and so I had put that concealer earlier so that my lipstick will stay longer this is my L'Oreal all long lasting stay lipstick it's in never ending nutmeg it does come with like a moisturizing side that's step two to the all day wear but I already put my chapstick on the reason I do that is because by the time I get to this part I already forgot and it just happened to work out that I figured out if I put my chapstick on first and then the long lasting wear lipstick it doesn't dry my lips out it's perfect and it does last a long time so then I can go ahead and even add my flavored gloss from Victoria's Secrets it's a beauty bliss in an indulgence color it is very old but I love the shimmer I also like my YSL so you can use whatever shimmer gloss you have I'm only gonna put it onto the center of my lips right at the cupid's bow and the center Mwah. kiss kiss and so I'm going to now brush down my brows since the brow maker has dried and what it has is probably some little fibers in it so it brushes and it makes it look a lot fuller I am completely done my mom is coming to pick me up and she's not here yet so it gave me way more time than I had planned but it allowed me to finish this look completely and hopefully I'll see you next time thank you for watching bye